What's going on everybody? It's your boy C4 here today bringing you another Mutt 16 Projected Legends video. Uh, today we're looking at the Pittsburgh Steelers, uh, one of the most historic and iconic franchises in the National Football League. As always guys, can we get 50 likes on this video as well as subscribe to the channel. Uh, we're trying to hit 10,000 subs by the time Madden 16 comes out in about a month or so, so we're well on our way to doing that. Uh, so yeah, pretty much the premise of the series is if Mutt uh, and EA release the top five legends for each individual team, I think it'd be most beneficial for Ultimate Team because that means fans of regardless of whatever team you cheer for, you're gonna have your own legend cards to play with, and it'll be more money for EA. So look at the Steelers before we jump to the top five. I mean, there's just I don't I think between the Steelers and the Raiders, they pretty much have almost like 80% of the legends on lock. Uh, guys, we're not gonna talk about today. Uh, you got Rod Woodson. Uh, there's a uh, legendary Rod Woodson card, a legendary Franco Harris card, uh, usually the best fullback, even though I preferably like Mike Alstott. Uh, they have Dermotti Dawson, who made the all-Madden 25 team. Uh, you got Mike Webster, who's regarded as the one of the best centers of uh, all time, but it's kind of weird that they have two legendary centers in Webster and Dawson. Uh, Troy Polamalu got a legendary card last year. Uh, wouldn't be surprised to get something like that this year. Uh, regardless if they, EA doesn't take my goddamn suggestion to do the top five legends for each team. Oh, well, for the new jumping in the top five, uh, four of these five have made an appearance in Mutt at some point. Uh, one brand new newcomer. But starting number one, we'll go with Jerome Bettis, the bus, a Hall of Famer. Uh, one of my favorite running backs uh, was probably actually the first running back that I was, the, 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 my first favorite running back in the league. Before I really had a team, I started cheering for the Eagles early 2000s. But before I really, I just was too young to really like, oh my god, I'm going to be a fan of this team. I just remember watching Jerome Bettis truck motherfuckers over uh, 13,000 career rushing yards, 91 career rushing touchdowns. I mean, the bus is a freak. Uh, one of my favorite players of all time. Uh, so I, I would like to see him have another legend card again. Uh, number two, we're going with Mean Joe Green. Uh, obviously, Hall of Famer, 10 times Pro Bowler. Uh, really hard to really go into his stats because, you know, they didn't really track sacks and stuff like that back then. But, I mean, regarded as one of the greatest NFL players of all time. Uh, so it makes a whole lot of sense. Uh, sticking on the old trainer, the next two, we're going with Jack Ham at number three. Uh, another Hall of Famer, eight-time Pro Bowl, 32 career interceptions. Uh, part of the Iron Curtain, or the Steel Curtain, whatever the fuck you want to call him. Uh, one of the greatest defenses, if not the greatest defense in NFL history. Uh, and going with it is Jack Lambert, number four. Uh, another Hall of Famer, nine-time Pro Bowler. Uh, like I said, being able to... Uh, personally, from what I've seen, like I said, I try to, I don't like going with legends that are super, super old that not a lot of people who would play Matt, like you target your demographic, I mean, uh, the all Madden 25 team made a lot of sense, because it's just people who've played Madden uh, within the last 10, 15 years, they're going to have, you know, the opportunity to play with the players that were beasts in years past, but then still, you, I think if you want to be a, you know, uh, a true, true football fan, and you really, really appreciate the game, it's really worth it to go back in time and look at the truly great teams. I personally have seen a lot of, you know, the great Steel Curtain, and seeing guys like Jack Lambert, one of the toughest middle linebackers in NFL history, one of the biggest hitters, uh, extremely, extremely tough player. You got Jack Ham, who's more of an athletic linebacker, as you can see, uh, with the interceptions, a true cover guy. And then, you got, like I said, you got Mean Joe Green. Uh, these guys were insane. Uh, I don't really know how they would stack up in this day, this day's game, but they're, it's pretty widely regarded that these guys were universally uh, some of the greats they could play in any era and uh, you know strike fear in opposing offenses. But those are four uh, reoccurring Steeler legends that I like to see in Mutt 16 make a return. And number five, the brand new one, I'm going with Heinz Ward. Uh, pers for a personal preference, Heinz Ward as a player, he's always alright. I never didn't like him. Uh, I really liked how, how fucking dirty he was in a way because... Run blocking, man. This guy in Madden, all, having good wide receivers with good run blocking is really, really underrated. And Heinz Ward would probably fucking come with like high 70s run blocking. Uh, 12,000 career rush, uh, rec uh, 12,000 career receiving yards, 85 receiving touchdowns, and 1,000 receptions total. Uh, you know, so again, you put Heinz Ward in the slot. Incredibly, one of the toughest receivers of this generation. Uh, but I would say I can't, I don't think I can name a better wide receiver uh, at run blocking. Uh, you know, being able to hit the pitch and having not your wide receiver on his ass because of either, you know, Richard Sherman or some of these fucking Patrick Peterson has laid him out and he's ready to make the tackle on your running back. You know, I want a wide receiver to be able to stick in there, fucking put the DB on his ass and clear another lane for my running back to take it to the house. And someone like Heinz Ward, that would be, that'd be all about that. So, there you have it, guys. Those are the top five Steelers I'd want to see uh, in Mutt 16 for the Legends. As always, subscribe, like the video, and until next time, it's your boy C4 saying peace out.